A vehicle with an autoloader is a strange thing. When you fight against it, it's a formidable opponent. When you take one shot at it, it fires several in return. When you play this vehicle, the battle often looks like this. Do you know this feeling? You could get Kalabanos medal in this situation. Stay with us. We have a useful video for you. A set of rules and maneuvers that, when put into practice, will improve your skill. The most obvious way to do this is to fully aim. Heavily armored vehicles can't be taken down that easily. The opponent is side-scraping. Only its weak points can be penetrated. That's why it's so important to aim carefully and wait until the aiming circle shrinks. If the heavy tank is moving, better look for another target. Here's a lightly armored vehicle. It's easy to penetrate from any side. The mouse is a challenging opponent, but right now, it's fighting the duel with its side turned to you. This is a good opportunity to shoot at its side. Its fuel tanks, to be more accurate. There's a chance of starting a fire. A heavy tank involved in a duel with its turret turned away is a good target. Even if it decides to take revenge, you'll have enough time to take cover. It's essential to know how much damage is caused by a single shot and a full drum. Then you can emerge victorious in a complicated situation. Like this, for example. Who do you fire at? The first target is the IS-7. It's face-hugging, and its turret is difficult to penetrate this way. The first shell solves the problem, the second and third save an ally. The tank destroyer has missed and will have no time to reload, so there's no need to hurry. The last shell goes to the E-100. Its turret was tempting, but one drum is not enough to destroy the German vehicle. It was more important to save the Ally and win the battle together. The enemy has just fired, but its next shot will damage the French vehicle. How can you inflict damage and keep your durability? You need to calculate everything. How much time does it take for the American to reload? What is the firing rate of the autoloader? And how much time will it need to hide behind cover? Let's try it. One, two, three. The T110E5 has already lost some of its durability, and the autoloader is safe and sound. Finishing a battle without being damaged doesn't happen often. The T-57 Heavy's durability is enough to survive four penetrations from the IS-7. The same number of drums are an adequate response. It's important to return four shots for every enemy's hit. Then you'll manage to destroy three IS vehicles. Isn't that a good chance of winning? But put into practice, everything is more complicated. You need to find an enemy with the lowest average damage. and avoid high-caliber guns. Otherwise, you'll lose the benefits. It's always good to have a loaded drum ready to use. But anyone can hurt an autoloader while it is reloading. When you press the C key, you become quite vulnerable. For this reason, pick your moments. when nothing is going on. When you change position. When shells in the clip are insufficient for destroying the enemy. when your allies take fire and cover you.
there are always many opportunities, and only your smart decisions can turn your weakness into a strength. Don't be hasty in battle. First of all, let's size up the close quarters situation. Zoom out the camera and take a look around. What's going on beside you? And behind you? Do it frequently. Look around at the beginning of battle to avoid bumping into your allies. When in cover, look around and find a convenient target. When changing position, look around to avoid coming under enemy fire. The minimap provides an overview of the battle's progress. It will also give you a clue as to what should be done. Just learn to count vehicles. Opponents are equal in power and exchange fire slowly. Search for a target from a convenient position. Punish any enemy who makes a mistake and do this until the battle develops into a more active phase. If your opponents outnumber you in attack, you need to retreat. Retreat far enough away for you to have time to reload. Fire upon the enemy from a convenient position and retreat again. The allies have an advantage and they attack. Move behind them and support them with fire. Use cover to reload and keep going until the last enemy is destroyed. Or the last ally. In this case, stick to the previous plan and retreat. These simple rules will help you avoid making childish mistakes. However, they don't guarantee success. You can make the correct tactical decision and still lose a simple skirmish. Just knowing the theory is not enough to win. The correct actions are required and effective maneuvers, first at long range, then at close range. The hill on the Prokhorovka map. The enemy is spotting carefully. A strong turret is difficult to penetrate and there's no one in the center of the map. What can you do? Drive to the center so that the enemy stays outside the maximum spotting range. Now, safe from being spotted, fire. When the opponent's durability drops down, your allies will follow your example and attack. If an enemy is inside of the maximum spotting range, use bushes for concealment and the simple rule of 15 meters. Spot the enemy, drive back until the bush stops being transparent, fire! The gun elevation and depression angles of the T-57 Heavy suggest that you fire from the tops of hills. Usually, the commander of the American vehicle drives out, switches to sniper mode, detects a target, and only then waits until the aiming circle shrinks. The time spent on this is enough to fire at an enemy and lose a considerable chunk of your hit points. It's unpleasant. But the damage can be avoided. Drive to the top so that the enemy doesn't spot you. Look around and find a target. Aim the central gun marker at it. Drive out cautiously. The aiming circle should be as small as possible. Now you can fire and take cover immediately. Even if the enemy manages to react, they have much less time for a precise shot. The Batchad 25T has neither accuracy nor elevation and depression angles. Besides this, it has a rear-mounted turret. You drive on the top and... What next? Take cover behind folds in the terrain. Then drive out to fire with your rear ahead. Then the enemy will only see a small part of the vehicle. It'll be difficult for them to hit you. But even if they do, the result of the exchange will not be in their favor. Play smart and raise your chances. Right after firing, hide and wait for the reticle to narrow in cover. Drive back carefully. When the gun marker is on the enemy, switch to sniper mode. Aim at a weak spot and press the W key. As soon as the aiming circle is at its smallest, seize the moment and fire. If the enemy misses, you can stop and fire the remaining shells without trouble or excitement. This maneuver is complicated, so first try it in the training room and then use it in battle. You often have to fire at enemy vehicles while driving. 
The aiming circle is wide because the turret and hull are on the move. To increase your accuracy, slow down before firing. Increasing the accuracy even more is difficult, but possible. Lock onto the target with the right mouse button. This way, the gun will make fewer random movements. The aiming circle will be smaller as well. Slow down before firing. At the same time, disable auto-aim and aim manually. Now you can fire. Yes, experienced players do use auto-aim, so get comfortable with it. The AMX-50B drove into position and met an enemy there. Exchanging fire isn't the best decision. What will you do? Strike at the right moment, when the enemy moves forward but cannot fire yet. Shoot at its front wheel to knock off its track, and don't let it escape while you have shells in the drum. The enemy with knocked off tracks quickly understands that it's in trouble and instinctively uses their repair kit. Calmly wait for this moment and continue firing. Your allies will do the rest. What should you do if there's a group versus group skirmish? You can unload your drum on the track of one vehicle but the other opponents are sure to test the durability of the AMX's cardboard turret. Then fire at the right or leftmost vehicle, but only if all other opponents cannot fire. They are reloading or have already hidden behind cover. It's easy and useful. On city maps, when you need cover, use your allies. Yes, indeed. Find the sheltered zone behind your ally and stay there. After an enemy's shot, drive out, fire, and drive back to the secure area. It's important to calculate the hit points of the enemy in situations like this. Be patient and wait until you have enough shells in your drum to destroy them all. Choose a favorable moment, rush in, outmaneuver, keep fragging. If you don't plan ahead, everything will be in vain. Hello, Garage. We're done with rules and maneuvers. Just enough of them to get Kolobanov's medal. Let's try one more time.